I'm Brad from Wounded Lion. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm Lars Finberg from Wounded Lion. I'm from Bakersfield, California. I am Rafi Calendarian. I'm also in Wounded Lion, and I'm from Los Angeles, California as well. I'm Jun Onuki from Wounded Lion, and I am from Pasadena, sometimes Altadena, California. Uh, I had a band that wasn't going anywhere, and I decided to scrap it and invite people into the band that didn't even play instruments, that were just cool people. And Rafi was the first one of those, and uh, he had to learn how to play bass, which I'm sure you saw him doing a lot of today. <laughs> Rip it! I was ripping, basically. Yeah, and, and uh, Brad and I have known each other for so long that uh, he didn't even bother asking me because I'm always so busy with other stuff. And then I saw them play a show and I said, Can I play? <laughs> And then Lars just joined the band a month ago because he moved from Seattle to Los Angeles. And that's the simple version of the story. Well, the, the important missing piece of that is because he's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, just, mm. actually, well, the honest, I mean, we switch around a lot on instruments. Yeah. And it's, some people consider that to be maybe a shtick. But it really is out of necessity. Oh, not me. Yeah, not me either. I'm talking about people outside the band. People bring their own power and Extron energy heroes. into each thing that they do. Hente extra hera to the band. Uh, you know, uh, we, no, it's uh, I can't play that part. Can you play that part? Okay. That's let's mostly what that. I do. I go, I can't play that, and then somebody else plays that. Talk, you talk. I write most of the music, um, but it's just a skeleton which, if you think about it, is not exciting. And then everyone else, everyone else flushes it out, adds muscles, organs, skin, <laughs> the largest organ on the body. Yeah. No, I'm still learning. That's what's cool, is I got to a point and then I just stopped. Yeah. <laughs> and now, because it's important to keep the shit falling apart, you know? It's very yeah. central yeah. to our experience as a band that because all these guys are really good and I bring the not good part and I come in and I'm like oh I don't know how to play this part and it's really important because otherwise yeah you know it's like rush or whatever like yeah we were talking about last time right. we don't want that we're recording our second LP which will be on in the red records in May and it will take forever to come out. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time it's it comes out, we'll be to totally sick of the songs, and we'll have written all these new songs. And you know, that's the future is unwritten. By the way, you know, no unnecessary product placement, but I, you know, <laughs> I am a bit of a rum aficionado. <laughs> you just said you weren't a rum aficionado. I was trying to be humble, okay? <laughs> Look, I used to bartend. Um, you know, this was in Europe. We had a lot of exotic rums that are hard to get here. And uh, we had some pretty good ones. And this is a really smooth, easygoing rum. <laughs> <laughs> it's got just enough. Hey, I'm serious. I'm serious. It's got it's, it's got just the right amount of consistency. Like, hey, <laughs> but you, you know, you can mix it too. Skin boy turns into rum boy. <laughs> you, you got you all have no appreciation for the fucking good taste. Man. <laughs>